Ladies and gentlemen, our next match is a quarterfinal lightweight match scheduled for a 15-minute time limit. Introducing first out of the blue corner, representing Art of Jiu-Jitsu, Costa Mesa, California, please welcome the 16-year-old Jiu-Jitsu phenom, Cole Abate. There we go. Cole Abate. The 16-year-old blue belt representing Art of Jiu-Jitsu. Honestly, Chase, I don't think the belt really matters in this case. Merely a formality, absolutely deserving to be here and uh, eager to make his mark. And his opponent out of the red corner representing 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu, San Diego, California. He is a three-time EBI Invitational Champion and the number one ranked lightweight no-gi grappler in the world. Here is the Freakazoid, Gio Martinez. The veteran himself, Gio Martinez, coming to the mats here a very well-known grappler and a, definitely a fan favorite, multiple-time ADCC champion, multiple-time EBI winner, one of the best-known representatives of the 10th Planet System, Chase. What else can you say about Gio? Entering the mat, he's fired up. And now things are uh, all over the place with the bracket shakeup, so who knows? This is anyone's game. You ready, Cole? You ready, Gio? Bye. Our referee, Steve Hodgett, gets things underway here at Who's Number One Championship. With the red ankle band is Gio Martinez. With the blue is Cole Abate. Cole Abate, only 16 years of age. Gio Martinez, 33, over twice Abate's age. And immediately an aggressive start from Abate. Looking for... Looked at a knee bar, two into a heel hook, but we're already way out of that scramble. Really fast action here in this match already. Man, sometimes these lightweights move quicker than we can call the action. They are so fast with their attacks, fast and furious. Because that sequence right there from Abate, man, one second he was on the, he was on the heel, he was on the omoplata, he was back to the leg again, and that was all in literally the space of about ten seconds. This is what we can expect. And it, I think, especially with somebody like Cole, who, it should be, uh, it should be stated, is a, who, is no, a who's number one veteran and has experience of competing here on this uh, rules on this uh, on this stage and on the, under this rule set twice, no less, with two submission wins. I think that he knows what uh, what's needed here. At who's number one? And that's you got to go out there and you got to go after your opponent. It's as simple as that. But Geo dropping back on the leg. Like Gio had a brief bite there, but Cole was able to slip out. And really, while Cole has the experience Cole's at who's number reap. one, this is the first time he's faced someone with the experience of Gio. And uh, it really is showing how, how collected Cole is already in his opening moments of the match. He doesn't seem to be too, uh, too nervous about anything and already enacting his game. Very interesting, if you can hear in the coaching, is that Cole Abade's coach, Guy Mendez, co-founder of the Art of Jiu-Jitsu, one half of the famous Mendes brothers team. Actually coaching Cole in Portuguese. Yeah. Young Cole, 16 years of age, spent the majority of his life training jiu-jitsu around Brazilians, fluent in Portuguese at such a young age. Even though he's never lived in Brazil. That's pretty incredible. You want to talk about the corner though. I mean, look at, o look at over who Gio's got in his corner. Eddie Bravo, Richie Martinez, his brother, AKA Boogeyman. Even Kyle Bame is sat there at mat side helping coach. But look at this, is an unusual position. Oh, and we see the false sweepers led into the inside heel hook entry. Cole Abate is going for the leg attack right now. We're seeing more and more of this. They call it the false sweep leg entry to get into this inside Sankaku position. And right now, Cole Abate has a very solid leg entanglement, but can he finish this heel hook? Many of the grapplers have tried and been unable to. Gio has great leg lock defense. He's shown it many times throughout his career and at who's number one. 
It's definitely something that he encounters on a daily basis, training in some place like his gym, like 10th Planet. But uh, Cole, I mean, is looking to put some pressure there on, the, on that heel. Geo is concerned, but still stoic. But yeah, he has to say Cole is, is pushing the action here. In this very match. much so, yeah. No, he's the one creating the attacks here, and he's the one forcing the reactions. There and he's again. still on that heel hook. Big twist of that heel right there. And you can see Joe, his leg is extended, he's hand fighting, but his heel is dangerously exposed. If Abade can get a rotation and sideways pressure on that knee at the same time, the heel slips out and Gio in a better position to extricate his leg and try and reset the position because, man, Cole Abade is relentless. That was a beautiful bite on the, on the heel, a very legitimate threat there. Gio did well to, 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 to enact his defense, which is basically just knowing he can take it a little bit and then slip his heel. Um, many other grapplers would not be as, as successful with that kind of a action, but Gio's done it throughout his entire career. Again, on the leg, going for that inside heel hook. Should he go belly down and sprawl and get his hips down into the side of that knee at the same time can create devastating breaking pressure on the limb. But Gio, I mean, he survived leg locks from Grapplers such as Eddie Cummings, Mikey Musumichi, many others, and answer it back with a, a heel hook of his own right here. And as we come into the final oh. seconds of this, oh, coming back up on top. As we come into the final seconds of this, uh, the first five minute period, Judges' favor, I would not be surprised to hear them call out Cole Abate. I would actually be surprised to hear otherwise, to be honest. <laughs> there you have yes, it. Indeed. Cole Abate presented with a huge opportunity here. He is 16 years of age against. Gio Martinez, a plus 300 underdog, according to some bookmakers. Martinez is a minus 400 favorite. And that, that's because of his experience and his credentials, and you should not write him off. You know, as hungry as Colabate is, as dangerous as he is, Gio's Gio, man. Yeah, Gio, Gio's game for it, and he's... Oh, look at the back the, call. the technique is shining right now. What a wonderful move. That was really spectacular. How Abate was able to translate that position into this back control with a fully locked on body triangle. My word. We're seeing a masterclass in modern Jiu Jitsu right here. Yeah, many raised their eyebrows when we announced Kuala Abate in the bracket. Well, this is why. He may be young, but he certainly deserves to be here and uh, his potential is limitless, and he's already showing off right now, basically, at who's number one championships against the veteran, an extremely talented Gio Martinez. You know what? Great point there, Chase. I think that uh, a lot of people were maybe a little confused as to why just the only 16, you know, was, was ended into this bracket. Forget the belts, forget the age. We have multiple teenagers competing here this weekend. 16 years of age, 17 years of age, 18 years of age. They're some of the best grapplers on the planet. And this is the stage from which they are to showcase their talents. Gio working hard to defend, but Cole rolls through with it, maintains his control. Really nice work. We approach seven minutes and 50 seconds here. Still plenty of time to work for both athletes. But Cole has to be thrilled right now with his performance. I'm sure he wants more. Gio working hard to get his shoulders on the mat. Nearly there, and is able to spin. Out of danger for now, but Cole Abate has made it known that he is absolutely here for the win. Kind of impressive actually that on top inside the closed guard and yet Abate still has that, that body triangle. Makes it very difficult for Gio to posture up and to escape. But he's got to be careful because you, know, you can't hang out in that position 
without attacking. We need to see effective jujitsu, but no worries here. Abade's been on the attack nonstop, but look at that. I like the way that Gio drops back from the close guard, throws the leg over in front of the hip. If you train in the gi, this is something that they'll immediately call you for uh, an illegal position, but this is the beauty of no gi, able to employ some creative technical answers to common positions in the grappling hierarchy. Well said. Gio's definitely hoping to unlock Cole's legs here, his feet rather, to, to start maybe, there he goes, he's reaching back behind him. He wants to try and attack a foot, but right now Cole has them hidden fairly well. I think that's a kind of a smart strategy so far. He's, uh, he's using this to slow Gio down. You know, the last thing Gio wants, oh, excuse me, the last thing he wants to give Gio right now is space to fire back. And the accumulated attacks that he's had, the positional control, so we, uh, about six minutes left in this match to go, you know, the, the goal is clearly ahead. Slowing down Gio and limiting those opportunities is all part of the game. Cole seems content for the moment to have this ankle at grip. He's not, oh, there you go, he releases it a little bit, but he, he was holding, waiting to see if Gio could get anything going. And Cole may be a little bit tired, taking, taking a moment here to catch his breath after that pretty wild exchange he had earlier. Gio in a weird position now, coming up on top, but he has his foot still thrown over the leg of Cole Abate. It is a strange position. Doesn't look particularly comfortable, but it's not just that. Judges favor so Cole Abate. It's no real, yeah, no surprise there. The crowd really getting behind Cole Abate, but it's not a, um, it's not like it's a particularly dangerous position for Gio with his leg. It's more the case of it's very difficult for him to do anything unless he can get his leg free first. Look at that squeeze, man. They say that Gio is physically very strong for his size. And, has a great isometric strength as well, meaning he can he can really put the squeeze on his opponents. It's true, and you can see, you know, Gio's trying to use that to hit to his effect here, but he's kind of wrapped up by his own design. When he stepped over, he thought he could maybe get something going with the leg locks, but Cole has had the right defense. I mean, it's a slow defense, but at the same time, he's ahead. It's, the onus is on Gio right now to make something work, and he simply can't get it going at the moment. Look at this though, a straight arm lock attempt from this position there. Cole manages to rip his arm out. Again, this, this is important to uh, distinguish the difference between a submission okay, now attack has, and a has submission. Now Gio has underhook on the leg. Now things are just gonna start moving maybe for the 10th planet representative here. Oh, but Cole slides his legs out of danger. And it's the difference between a submission, a submission entry and a submission attack. A submission attack is something that actually has your opponent defending, actively working to, to, to to relieve pressure, to escape from a position where they otherwise would submit. Whereas a submission entry, it's like Gio had against our arm there for a second. He kind of scooped up the arm and, and Cole was able to slide his arm out with no real danger. And that's important now, judges. Oh, he'll hook again for Cole Abate. So you enter 50-50 uh, here. Definitely a potential for a leg lock shootout unless someone pulls it. Pulls free. Yeah, Cole actually switches his legs. Not quite in the 50-50 anymore. It's a, uh, a slightly better position for him. It's more like the... More like the 80... 20? I'm not sure, man. These leg lock positions sometimes escape me, but... Kind of slowing down into this little leg lock shootout right here. Both <laughs> hugging on the ankles with about two and a half minutes. A little over two and a half minutes remaining in this match. I'd like to see, I mean, obviously I think Cole's strategy has been great so far, but I'd like to see Gio just completely disengage. Cole's in a great position now. Oh no, he's got a leg lace, look at that. I think Gio, he, man, if he can disengage, if he can get his leg completely out of danger, he needs to turn up the gas and he needs to, he needs to get after Cole because the longer that he stays hanging out in these positions, Cole's just, he's racking up the, the submission entries and that counts.
Oh, look at that defense, the way that Gio hugs his own foot to his chest. Oh, and a straight hard block. <laughs> Man, call the bot, they're so creative with his attacks. That, that one looked pretty locked out for a second there, but Gio was slip away. That's a submission attack. That's the difference between an entry and an attack. Cole on a straight ankle lock. He has finished the Who's Number One match via straight ankle lock. Switches nice. to the heel hook, outside heel hook. A lot of pressure on that knee, causing Gio to spin out. But now Gio's got just over a minute to, to work. Can he get past the defenses of the teenager? Can he get into a solid submission entry? Can he finish this match with such a short space of time left? He's looking for it, rolling over. Dro He's going for the neck, but Abate is so good at getting those legs into those tiny spaces. In effect, has an ex-guard position, but is hugging that, that ankle, that far ankle, so close to him. Arms clasped, but Gio really has got nowhere to go. Last 30 seconds. Cole still hunting. Wow. Still looking for the leg injuries. That was a beautiful transition there. Another one, Cole just keeps just so graceful between all the, all the various positions he's been just transitioning to one long sequence. They flow from one to the other with very little time in between, very little time to stop and think, just moving through these positions. And as the clock runs down, one last time, heel hook time. attempt, two last heel hook attempts for Colabate, who I feel 100% earns the win against the veteran Gil Martinez in that match. I think the judge's decision, a formality at this stage, let's see the crowd very much in favor of the 16-year-old. Yeah, it is unanimous. Ladies and gentlemen, your blue. winner by unanimous decision and moving on to the semifinals, Colabate! A very composed, very mature performance from the 16-year-old blue belt from Arda Jiu-Jitsu. And I keep mentioning in his age because it is just so mind-blowing to me 